Kudat, located at the northern tip of Borneo, is the administrative center for Sabah's smallest divisional region. The town had been established in 1881 as the first capital during the British rule, taking advantage of its strategic location along the sea trade routes between Singapore and East Asia. Kudat is also the gateway to the more than 50 islands and many more reefs separating Malaysian Borneo from Palawan in the Philippines. Today, the area's marine resources provide the main livelihood for many island and coastal communities, as well as playing an important factor for the commercial fishing industry. The proposed Tun Mustafa Park is a priority conservation area within the Sulu and Sulawesi Marine Ecoregion, or SSME. It is also part of the Coral Triangle, the center of marine biodiversity on the planet. The Coral Triangle Initiative, CTI, declared the SSME a priority seascape. As the proposed Tun Mustafa Park is within this seascape, it is significant due to its unique location separating the South China Sea from the Sulu Sea by a narrow strait. The park is thus important for the distribution of coral larvae and other marine organisms. It is also an important route for migratory animals such as whales, dolphins and turtles. In 2003, the Sabah government approved the intention to gazette Tun Mustafa Park and it has since set 2015 as the target for the establishment of the park. To work towards this target, important regional facts on biodiversity, socio-economics, coral reef status and physico-chemical oceanography had to be collected. Hence, Malaysian Minister of Science, Technology and Innovation, YB Datuk Dr. Maximus Onkili, launched the Tun Mustafa Park Expedition on the 6th of September 2012. Oceanography and, uh, is a very important uh, uh, aspect of science for, for Malaysia. This particular area where we are standing is uh, part of the CTI uh, region, the Coral Triangle Initiative. So the expedition, uh, this particular aspect of the Tun Mustafa Park, will one uh, of course uh, collect uh, a lot of new data uh, that will be very useful for baseline studies for um, uh, other scientists to come forward. This is crucial because it's the first ever undertaken under CTI uh, framework. The expedition comprising of more than 30 researchers and scientists from University Malaysia Sabah, Sabah Parks, WWF Malaysia, University Malaya, Naturalis Biodiversity Centre in the Netherlands, the University of Queensland in Australia, as well as volunteers from local communities, set out on two expedition vessels. Confronted by heavy seas and strong winds, the research team spent 21 days at sea, collecting data with the goal to assess as many different marine habitats as possible within the proposed Tun Mustafa Park. Our plan was to dive at least three times a day to get as much data as possible, However, rough seas and inaccurate marine charts made it difficult to locate some of the reefs. Due to the stormy weather, the underwater visibility we encountered was rarely above 5 meters. On certain dives, we hardly could see the transect line, which met data collection a real challenge. Still, the expedition team managed to survey 40 out of the 53 planned sites, covering a wide range of reef environments. The preliminary findings of the biodiversity team, looking at corals, fishes and invertebrates, produce some mixed results. The coral diversity in the proposed uh, Tun Mustafa Park is rich, as expected for an area within the coral triangle. We observed the diverse marine flora and fauna in a range of different habitats, including some rare species. So there seem to be vital functional groups missing, such as grazers and top predators, which are important to maintaining a healthy reef. Um, despite this, there is still a large variety of ornamental reef fish. Although the fish species count during the expedition reflected fairly high diversity, fish numbers observed have been distressingly low. There are very apparent signs of destructive fishing practices and the low abundances of fish and absence of important commercial species may be due to overfishing. 
there is additional reason for concern as a result of the reef status team's survey of a total of about 5 kilometers of reefs at various depths. Out of the 55 flotation studied, we found only 4 in excellent condition. The majority of the reefs show moderate to heavy human impacts such as solid waste, craters from blast fishing and abandoned fishing nets. Indeed, the scuba diving researchers heard multiple explosions from blast fishing on various occasions and the effects of this illegal and destructive fishing method were all too apparent. Getting a first-hand impression of the coral reef's condition were community volunteers participating in the expedition. Saya nampak sendiri kawasan terumbu karang sekarang dalam keadaan kurang baik dan ikan makin berkurangan. Untuk memastikan bekalan ikan yang berterusan pada masa akan datang, kita perlu melakukan sesuatu. Saya berharap agar terumbu karang berdekatan dengan kampung kami akan dijaga dengan penglibatan komuniti. The fishing communities within the proposed Tun Mustafa Park largely depend on marine resources for their livelihood. Kudat Town relies on the commercial fishing industry to drive the local economy. The management and zoning plan for the proposed park has to include all stakeholders' needs in order to be successful. Complementing the biodiversity and reef health teams were various research teams from University Malaysia Sabah, or UMS, looking at water quality, sediment characteristics, plankton abundance and diversity, crab fisheries and seafloor features. The samples and data collected by the UMS researchers will be further analysed and we are expecting results to be reported in the months to come. The expedition members are satisfied with the overall results of the expedition. The data will help to further inform decisions for the management strategy and zoning plan for the proposed Tun Mustafa Park, which is one more important step towards the gazettement of Malaysia's biggest marine protected area, providing sustainable marine resources and conserving globally important biodiversity. Now it's time to get everything compiled and analysed as quickly as possible to be included in the management and zoning plan. I'm very confident that uh, uh, if you drive it and I think with the technical part done and the consultation with the, uh, with the people, uh, with the fishermen families, that uh, in the next, uh, I'm giving that in the next uh, 24 months, we should be able to move forward uh, very, uh, uh, very much. Conservation should enhance people's lives and not to affect negatively. Thank you.